What's going on, crypto fans? Clay Albright here. Today is Thursday, May something, and I am back to work. Woo! Had a couple days with my ladies, my girls. I have three girls and uh, young girls, so they, I, when I do have them, I'm to and from school and to and from swim practice and all that good stuff. So, uh, believe it or not, sometimes getting back to work can almost be a little bit of a break. Love my girls. I want to address this particular video to one Mr. Bix Weir. Hi Bix, Clay Albright here. I know we've never met. Uh, I have heard several of your videos and I've really enjoyed some of your commentary on different things. Lately I, I have felt at odds a little bit with your opinion towards EOS and I thought maybe if a few people can throw this video your way and maybe if uh, you have a few minutes to check it out then maybe I could shed some light on some of the things that you're talking about related to the EOS uh, platform that's launching in June. So here's here's worth a shot. Bix, my friend, I understand where you're coming from about Brock Pierce. Brock Pierce, uh, uh, without talking about him per se, Brock Pierce was involved with Bitcoin real early on in its day. Uh, the Bitcoin Foundation, uh, you mentioned that yourself. But, uh, Brock Pierce was very much so involved with Ethereum and the Ethereum Foundation. And I know you're a huge fan of Ethereum, but let's both agree on one thing. Brock Pierce is not a programmer or a developer or of a any sort. Um, he's, and I'm, he's a businessman slash celebrity, so I, I, don't, I don't want to confuse his involvement with any of the projects, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Block One, with the technology. The, his involvement was more so from a publicity standpoint, and I, I don't know, I, I did not know a lot about Brock Pierce uh, before some of the videos started circulating online, and I'm sure there's a lot of other people um, that probably did not either, but I, you, you have to admit when the news did break, uh, EOS quickly separated themselves from something like that. They are trying to be evil. Uh, this technology they're they're putting out is is uh, is an attempt to correct the evil in this world, and that's the part where I I feel like you're missing the boat is because you've somehow got this entanglement in your mind with EOS and Brock Pierce, and then you you comp you mentioned Bitfinex and Tether, uh, which were both in existence well well before EOS was in existence. I think Dan was probably still creating Steam uh, back in those days. So, you know, I have watched tons of hours of Dan Larimer speaking from his heart, pumping his technology. And I'm not just talking about EOS. I remember years ago watching Dan Larimer pitch BitShares. Uh, and you know, BitShares was a little bit ahead of its time and, and you, you saw this guy who was so incredibly smart, you knew he was, and he had such a great product, but you know, trying to start that thing on a grassroots level and already being a little more difficult than Bitcoin was tough, um, which led him into Steam, which was the social media platform, so he could maybe gain some, pu some publicity or some, uh, some network effect just through using Steam's social media. You know, unfortunately, Steam's distribution didn't end up the right way, and I don't, I can't necessarily blame that on anyone. Um, I know Dan's not real excited about it, and maybe this is his attempt to sort of redo it, uh, but you've got, you know, a lot of brand new uh, concepts coming out in this new technology in June that's gonna do a lot for the crypto environment, a lot. Um, and I don't, I'm not going to go into all the details technologically why. I mean, I, I've done that before in videos. I would encourage you to check some of them out if that's something that you're interested in. Um, but regarding the Brock Pierce issue with EOS, please, please separate that. EOS did. Dan Larimer wasn't involved with that, whatever Brock history, Brock uh, Pierce's history is or was. Um, 
and Bitfinex and Tether are not related to EOS. I mean, I'm sorry that they're not. I mean, they, they may have come to EOS for uh, to use their platform, but they Dan Larimer wasn't a part of Bitfinex or, or uh, Tether's launching or creation. Uh, his resume is very straightforward. BitShares and Steemit were his first two, and he's got another one, EOS. I think there was actually a third gaming, some kind of a gaming uh, platform in there too. But um, but Bix, I I have enjoyed your videos. I, I think you've you've got a decent approach to, to technos or to, to technos to cryptos. But uh, I just feel like maybe, um, you know, come June when this thing launches and it is a success and a lot of things are adopting it and changing around it, um, I don't want you to be, you know, missing the boat. I want you to be there with us. I want you to come join the EOS team and, and be a supporter of such amazing technology. Uh, I was an Ethereum fan. I'm still an Ethereum fan. I mean, I'm a crypto fan. So any, anybody who's out there trying to do good in the crypto world, I'm a fan. Um, but of course, I'm going to follow some of the best technology because that's what's going to enable other users to get logged on to blockchain. Steemit, by all means, has the most users logged on to blockchain on a daily basis, doing the most transactions on a daily basis. If you want to check out blocktivity.info, it shows you there. Um, and that was Dan Larimer's contribution. So, I mean, the guy has spent a lot of time and effort uh, to try to create systems to protect people's life and liberty and, uh, I want to say pursuit of happiness. I know that's not his, his uh, saying. He's got a different saying, but uh, life, liberty, and property. And uh, that's, his, that's his goal. I mean, how, how do you squash a guy like that? You know, that's his only goal. Uh, he doesn't need the money. The, the over billion dollars, I think it might be over $2 billion that he's collected now from, uh, you know, the EOS ICO. He was very clear about that. The software is already developed. The software was, uh, is not something that the ICO is, fa is funding. That, yeah, the money from the ICO was block ones to do with what they chose. And he did that for liability reasons so the SEC would stay off of his butt. Uh, by doing an auction style ICO where he wasn't promising anything for the token. I get it. You can FUD that. You can. Because it does sound a little crazy. But not when you think about his reasoning and not when you think about the product is already out. Okay? It's a little too late to be saying he's lying. It's already out. The developers are raving about this product. There's some things that are hard to ignore. Specifically, the fact that many, many millions of those billions of dollars have already been pledged to venture capitalists to put back into the market of the, or to the community of the EOS ecosphere, ecosystem. So there's just so many balls rolling in the right direction right now. I, I, want, I want to persuade you to come join the EOS team. I'm not asking you to leave Ethereum or Litecoin or any of your favorites because I've determined you are a loyalist. Uh, you have your picks, and I think that's great. Um, what I'm concerned about is that you have such a huge following with YouTube that maybe others are purposely not buying into EOS because of the things that you're saying. And I'm, are you trying to spread FUD? No, this is your opinion. This is based on your knowledge of EOS. So I just wanted to hopefully shed some light on some of that. Um, I would offer myself, you know, my time to you anytime if you want to have a conversation, whether it's over the phone or on video, um, I would be happy to chit chat with you in a very nonchalant, uh, gentlemanly manner, sir, and, uh, see if we can straighten some of this out. Reach out to me on any one of my videos, shoot me a comment, we'll figure it out. Um, if I don't hear from you, I understand you're a busy man too. So, uh, just wanted to sort of, again, come, come join the EOS team, man. Come be part of this amazing technology that's about to change the world. June is going to be a crazy cool month for technos and I want you to be a part of it. We'll see you, bud.